Hey guys, this is Joe from Fireworks Studios. Welcome to another tutorial. And on this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Shine plugin, okay? We're gonna start from scratch and we're gonna do a simple project. I'm gonna start making a new composition, any size you want. I'm gonna type something in here. A little bit bigger. Now I'm just going to type shine. And there you have it. Now we're going to play with the settings. I'm going to go through all the settings. Source point is what we have right here. The source point. We have the ray length. How far you want the light to go. We want it like 10. It's gonna go very far. Two short boost light. How strong you want it to be. Okay. And then we got the transfer mode. I usually set it to normal so I can see the text. And I can bring down the source opacity, which the, the text is the source. So we just bring down the, the source opacity. If I bring it down to zero, it's gonna look like if we had it at none. But we're just gonna go up a little bit until we see the text around here. Shine opacity. Shine opacity. Just for the shine. Okay, and then we got colorize. We have right here a three color gradient. If you choose this, you're only gonna be able to use three colors and this one and this one, they're gonna be unavailable. But if you chose five color gradient, you can be able to use all of them. We have some presets in here, electric, Okay. And this is it. And then we got the shimmer. But this one I'm gonna use it for another example. Right now we're just gonna leave it like this. And I'm gonna make a little animation. Let me choose. I'm gonna convert this layer to 3D and I'm gonna bring a camera, new camera, 25 millimeters, it's okay. And I'm gonna choose orbit, like that. And now the source point, I'm gonna bring it to this side, okay? Somewhere around here. somewhere around here. All right, let me choose another color. Yeah, maybe this one. Okay, now once it's here, we're gonna go to source point and we're gonna click on the clock to add a keyframe. Also in the camera, we're gonna press P for position, keyframe, and then we're gonna go to the probably two seconds. We choose orbit, and let's move it to the other side. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the source point. We're going to click on it and we're going to bring it now to this side. Let me put it away a little bit. And so far, this is what we got.
Another thing we can do is we can go right here to um, top. Let me scroll away. And then we click on the camera to see the animation. So here we have a problem. Whatever is outside from the tri this triangle is not going to be visible. So we need to fix that. I'm going to go like right in the middle around here. And I'm going to pull this down from the Z axis. Around there. I pull from here and then I pull from here too. Let's see what we got. Now I'm going to move the point of interest to touch the letters. And I'm going to go around. It's still touching a little bit in here. So we can move the point of interest. Let's see how it looks. And you can keep playing with the settings until you get whatever you like. And you can do some other animations like what I did on this first composition. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be uploading more videos and the next one is also going to be about the Chime plugin. Thank you very much.